Before we begin any new projects, we need to clean our camera equipment because it's dirty. So in this video, I'm gonna refresh you on how I clean my camera gear. So I have already done a video on how to clean your camera gear. However, in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at a new product that I have found from my good friend, Joseph Christina. He has created the Aurora Camera Care Kit. Now this is a camera sensor and lens cleaning kit. So we have everything in here that we need to do to clean the sensor and the lens on our camera. They come in three sizes. You've got the full frame, APS-C and the micro four thirds. Please consult your camera's manual as to what sensor is in your camera. Do not ask me because there's that many cameras on the market. I have no idea what it would be. For this video though, we are going to be using the full frame camera care kit. Let's crack this open. And if it's the first time cleaning a camera yourself, there are four instructions on here. Just follow those. They are be honest with you, perfect instructions on doing this. In here, we're going to have a set of cleaning, wet and dry for your lens, we've got two of those. And we have the swabs. And again, these are for the full frame camera of wet and dry swabs. Okay. So rather than just show you what we're doing with this kit, I'm going to do the whole procedure of what I would normally do. So this camera, it's been about a bit now. It's been about six months since I cleaned it. Generally, I don't clean it all the time because this is a photo camera. And then my video camera, that hardly gets cleaned at all because the same lens is always on the camera. Therefore, the sensor is always clean because of that. So I don't take the lens off that camera. But this one, it gets changed in the field. It gets changed everywhere. It gets dirty. Plus, because Laura don't weather seal their lenses, dust does get into the uh, camera. But if you have got... Uh, dust on your sensor, you will know it when you look at your images, you've got these little sensor dusts all over the place. I've got quite a few on this particular camera. And generally, I just use Lightroom or Photoshop to retouch them out until it gets to a certain point where I'm getting fed up of having to redo the, these dusts all the time and then I clean it. So the first thing we want to do is I'm going to start with a rocket blower. And I'm going to blow off any loose dirt that is on the outside of the camera. Very simple. And again, I'm going through this quickly to keep the time on the video down, so I expect you to do it a better job. Next, I will take this. This is actually a makeup brush. And what I can do with this is I can just brush it down. If there's any dirt or loose debris inside any of these nooks and crannies, this brush will brush it off. And once you've done that, I'll go back over with my rocket blower again. Now, about once a year, I will pop open the, uh, the flaps and all the seals and just clean those. I'm not doing that on this occasion. I'm not that paranoid about it, to be honest with you. In fact, my screen is actually quite clean. For once. once I've done that, I've done the outside, I've cleaned it all off. What we're going to do is break open the, uh, the Aurora camera sensor and lens cleaning kit. And there's a certain thing that attracted me to this particular kit. But if you are an amateur or you're not very experienced with this, you're probably sending your camera gear off to a shop to be cleaned at £50, £100 a time. And that's okay, but it's exactly the same thing that we're doing now that they will do. So we're going to be saving you some money. And the kit that I used before was where you have a little swab, you got some liquid that you put onto the swab and then you clean the sensor. And when I first started doing that, I used to always put too much liquid on and it would just streak across the sensor and I'd have to break open another swab to clean off the liquid I'd already put on. You've probably been there and done that if you're watching this video. But the interesting thing about this particular kit is they have a wet and dry uh, solution. So you've got one swab, which is for wet, and another swab, which is for um, dry. Again, links to all of this is down in the description below, as well as a link to Joseph's uh, YouTube channel, which uh, I have been on, and he's been on my channel, so you will recognize him. But anyway, this is where it gets interesting. The swab has the correct amount of liquid on it to clean your sensor. So there's no guesswork in it. There's no oversaturating your swab and having to use another one to clean off your sensor again. It's got the correct amount on there. And same goes for the lens cleaning swabs. One's wet, one's dry. Now, I always do my lens first, sensor last. 
So let's deal with that now. Now there is going to be an extra step here because I have a control ring here and I will show you what I'm going to do with that in a minute. But first of all, I'm going to take off my whole lens and control ring. And then I'm going to place the camera face down so nothing's getting inside there. And I'll just leave it as it is. Take that off. This is the control ring. Now for the control ring, all I'm going to do is just blow into it with my rocket blower. And then just leave that like that. That should be perfectly okay. And more importantly, end cap for your lens. Okay, always make sure you clean the end caps of lens. Because if you don't clean the end caps, you clean your lens. Let's say we clean the back of the lens here. We have a clean sensor, clean lens, dusty cap. We're going to put that cap onto there. The dust is going to transfer to your lens, and then your lens is going to transfer that dust to your sensor, and you're back at square one. So always clean the back of your uh, caps. And I'm going to place that cap just on top, I don't have to tighten it, I'm just placing it on top of my control ring just to keep any dust off there. So again, same procedure as before, we're going to just use the rocket blower and I hope I can angle this correctly so you can see the crap that's on this lens here. Now unfortunately, again, blower don't... <coughs> there we go. Blower don't weather seal their lenses, so dust is always getting inside here. Okay, let's extend this out so we can see that lens. And generally, I will do a visual inspection of the lens. And I'll be honest with you, that is very clean. Okay. The only dirty component on here is our filter that fits onto the front. So we are going to clean that. And again, if something isn't dirty, or it's not showing you, uh, you know, if your sensor hasn't got dust mites on there, or dust bunnies, as we like to call them, there's no point cleaning it, okay? Now, for this, exactly the same as I would do with my cotton buds, is we're going to clean it in a circular motion. Okay. And because this is the lens filter, we've got to do both sides of it. And something I noticed as well, is this is actually it's not paper like every other one it's actually a microfiber cloth so because of that i'm actually going to take advantage of this and just do my lens as well there we go so we have two swabs two sets of uh, microfiber cloths but i'll be honest with you i mean i do youtube and all that stuff yeah um I only really clean my camera gear every six months or so. But bear in mind, I don't go out in the field that often now. I'm mostly a uh, studio-based photographer. Yeah, there we go. Spotless. Put that back on. Make sure I tighten it up because it's only coming off when we on our twin macro flash. I will then fit that to my control ring adapter and then place that cap on the end there. That section of my gear is done. Have you checked out my macro background textures? I've created several packs for background textures for macro photography. So being able to manipulate the background with a background texture is very, very useful. Whether you're out in the field or in the studio, these background textures are great. You simply download them and print them out yourselves and take them anywhere with you. Check out the link in the description or go to stuartwood.com for more information. Now you all have to excuse me. I'm sweating. It's one of the hottest days of the year at the moment. So uh, yeah, that's why I'm not wearing my usual shirt. Right, now I'm going to gently blow into my camera. Okay. Now you do need uh, a full battery to do this because we're going to lock open the shutter. So now on my camera, because it's mirrorless, as soon as I turn it on, the shutter opens up. If you're on a DSLR, you might have to go into the menu system and tell it to lock up the mirror and open up the shutter for you to clean it. Again, consult your camera's manual on how to do that, okay? You can do the same for mirrorless cameras, which will turn off your display when cleaning your sensor. So I'm just gonna blow gently into the camera and I'm holding it up like this, so any loose debris will fall out of the camera. So I'm now ready to clean the sensor. And again, I keep it 
down all the time. So what we're going to do is take out a, uh, one of our dry swabs. I'm going to place that on my left hand side. Okay. And then I'm going to take out a wet swab. Okay, I'm going to place that on my right hand side. So what we're going to do is going to take the wet swab out and at a 45 degree angle, we're going to go from left to right, turn it over, left to right again on our center, applying very little pressure. We'll then take out the dry one and do exactly the same. And that should be enough to clean your sensor. So let's turn this around and let's pop this out. And again, this is our wet one. And again, it has the right amount of liquid on there, which is brilliant. And of course, while you're doing this, try not to touch anything else inside the camera. You may spread the grease from inside the camera onto your sensor. Left to right, turn it over. 45 degree angle, left to right. That is now done and that is get, going to get thrown away. We do not reuse any swabs. Take the dry one. And again, left to right, turn over, left to right. And then I will immediately power it off the camera. And there you go. That is now clean, squeaky clean camera, ready for our next project. Now these swabs that you have used, you throw them away. You do not reuse those swabs. They are to be thrown away. And again, I do this every six months, unless I've been out maybe in a swamp or something. But basically, once my dust bunnies get too much to handle, that is when I clean my camera. And again, the video camera that you're currently watching now has a 35mm lens on, and that lens never comes off that camera, so it's, it's as squeaky clean as the day I bought it. But that is the Aurora Camera Care Kit from Joseph Christina. Link in the description below. Camera sensor and lens cleaning kit. I think that's a fabulous uh, way of doing it. Now, unfortunately, these are only available in the US at the moment because Joseph is having troubles exporting them. But I'm sure that in the future, you will be able to get them from other countries. And again, if you're only doing it every six months, it's inexpensive and it's probably better than sending it off to a shop for some mug like me to do exactly the same thing that you can do at home. Again, links to everything that I've showed in this video are in the description below, as well as a link to Joseph's website and his YouTube channel, but that's where I shall leave it. My name's Stuart Wood, and again, I'll see you on the next video. And although that is good, you are actually... You... I got quite far then. I got 10 minutes in without actually making a mistake then. And again, links to all of this stuff is in the description below. Uh, do check out Joseph's... Uh... Do please check out Joseph's YouTube. No, man. So that is the Aurora Camera Care... And again, the video camera, the... Uh... Well, I'll tell you what I'll do now. This is the reason why I kept these separate and uh, not touching other stuff, is I'm going to give this uh, Laura lens a clean. This is a rental from Laura. Uh, they sent me this for review. This is the one you saw in the video previously. But it came absolutely filthy. So, Laura, I'm cleaning your lens. You're welcome.